two Mount Horeb High School students could be charged with selling Adderall to other students. What police say the football team connection is coming up. As the Mount Hora Vikings football team continues their state championship quest, police now saying one of their players and another student were dealing prescription drugs to other players. Well, we first told you heading into Friday's playoff game about six players being suspended. News Free's Matthew Simon has new information on what led to that suspension. Matthew. Eric Michelle, police telling us last Tuesday some Mount Horeb parents or someone from the school system alerted school officials about suspected prescription drug deals involving football players. In the small Wisconsin town of about 7,000 residents, football Friday nights are a part of life. From cheering Friday night crowds to supportive signs along Main Street, high school football is a huge part of Mount Horeb. Due to the standing of some of the students, but the football player's role in what Mount Horror Police Chief Jeff Falof calls an otherwise routine investigation starting last Tuesday now has placed a cloud on this community's pride. That students were selling or giving away Adderall to other students. Specifically, police want current Vikings wide receiver 18-year-old Zach Schmitz and former player 17-year-old Carter Wilamowski charged with distributing or delivering the narcotic prescription Adderall usually prescribed for patients with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Uh, one of the persons being charged had a valid prescription for it. The chief says the teams gave and sold the pills to other football players to help them focus while playing. Six players were suspended from last week's game against Jefferson. Adderall, I don't believe we've dealt with in quite some time. It doesn't ring a bell as something we've dealt with recently at all. While the chief says Adderall calls are unusual, he says his officers are at Mount Horeb High School at least once a month, usually dealing with marijuana calls, something he said is typical of most high schools across the country. We attempted to talk to Mount Horeb Superintendent Deb Klein. When we stopped by her office, she declined to comment, saying they'd be dealing with this as a community. But a mom we talked with today is upset about this incident because she says the school has a history, a poor history, in her words, of communicating with parents when it comes to these sort of things. We are told that this is now up to the district attorney's office when this will be handled. And the question we've had a lot today, will these players be suspended from the game this coming week? We don't know that. The superintendent would not talk to us. All right. Well, something then we'll obviously keep our eyes on. Thank you, Matthew.